What's up everyone? My name is Anuj Kumar and in this series of videos you will learn action script and some flash. Sorry about not making the videos. I kind of had some exams in the past weeks and uh, so today we will learn about um, moving card animation in flash CS6. So let's start. So this will be some basics of so you must learn you must know about add event listeners which I showed in the previous videos and something about how to change the properties of the instance names so let's go to action script 3.0 and some let's draw some objects using rectangle tool okay, let's select a better color okay so now I made the body and the tires which we need for our let's make it large okay so let's show frame so let's convert each of them to movie clip by pressing control to sim convert to symbol right here uh, so movie clip so let's write down body and also changing the instance name under the properties tab if you cannot find this you can go to property windows actually and from here you can select properties so let's write down here um, body as our instance name similarly with this T1 for tire 1 T2 for the second tire also its instance name T1 that's instance name T2 also let's okay let's arrange it bring to front okay our main body is ready so let's create some actions so go to actions and now we will be writing some functions so if you don't know anything about add event listeners or anything about functions you can go to my previous videos in which I've told you about functions and the link to the playlist is given below so first of all we write down a function by typing function and the name of the function is anything example func two parentheses two curly braces and our code will go here so we need to call our function using our add event listener so this time we will not be using mouse event so add event listener and within this we will be adding two arguments so first it is event dot enter frame uh, in the previous videos we used like uh, mouse events but today we will be using uh, enter frame so as you can see this is case sensitive enter frame is uh, 
also you can see here it's like uh, telling you with the, which type of arguments you can get so it's a string a function so second will be our function so our function is func and you can also type it void but it's not necessary okay so let's do something so let's write down okay let's write down uh, first of all we will like to move it towards the x-axis so you can see my video on the position and also on this uh, x and y axis so this is the x and this is the y axis so we want it to move towards the x axis so we want its position to move it to the x axis so write down the body dot x equals body dot x plus 5 it means we're moving each time the function is called the value of body increases uh, to 5 for example the body's value is 1 so 1 plus 5 is 6 the next time it iterates it's 6 plus 5 that is 11 and then 11 plus 5 again it so goes on and on so let's check if it works press control enter oh. it's given error okay we have an error on argument mismatch because we didn't provide an argument it's a really really foolish mistake so e colon and it's an event so event press enter so let's press control enter and see it's moving so in this same way we want our tires to move so t1 which is the instance name of the first tire dot x it is its position so equals so it's basically an instance name dot property equals its value value is we want it to move it to five positions so t1 dot x plus five for example it's first it's at zero position so on we want zero plus five to give it to the five fifth position so it's like this similarly for the second tire t2 so it's moving so we need another property called rotation to rotate our tires so you can see a whole bunch of different properties on my website or on my previous videos if you have seen one of them so this is one of the property which rotates via some angle which you provide in this uh, so let's 5 degree rotation so let's copy this and change it to T2 for the T2 so press control enter to test the movie and oh oh my goodness okay okay it's spelling mistake rotation okay it's rotating right now so it's not a very good animation but it's a simple basic animation on moving a car so what we want right now is whenever it strikes like this it should move again to the back as it was happening in this movie uh, as this car strikes this the end of the stage it moves back towards the front of the stage so the end of the stage is like 550 pixels so this is the x-axis this is the width and this is the y-axis which is the height so we are concerned right now with the width that is the x-axis so if else statement will go here so if this body dot x means the x position means this body uh, is greater than or equal to 550 pixels then we want something 
is greater than or equals to 550 pixels then we want it to do something else we want it to continue its animation like so control X cut this code and paste it inside the else statement I will explain everything in just a moment uh, let me indent this code so it's a beautiful practice to indent your code basically so that others can read so let's me write down trace exceed something like this press semicolon right. when you press control enter when it reaches here we'll see one output exceed as you can see my flash has just got crashed it's because it's moving again and again and again and this is the function of this um, enter frame event it occurs repeatedly while the flash is playing so let's save this problem solve this problem sorry <laughs> okay uh, So we want as soon as the body hits greater than the 550 pixels, we want it to move to like here so that it can start again itself. So the X position of this block is 186.20. So we want body dot x to move to 186.2 pixels when this exceeds our stage width and also the tires tires should be at 171.2 there is a t1 this is a t1 let's write down t1 dot x equals this oh and also for the T2 T2 is 111.35 let's see if it works press control enter and whenever it hits like the 550 pixels or greater than it will go to the desired position which we specified is okay this was basically some st standard how to make a uh, moving car animation so I have provided this huge code into my website you can easily view and you can download the flash file and this code for free also um, that's it one more thing I can show you one more thing to optimize your code um, instead of writing this you can also write let me show you first if there is a variable called a equals a plus 10 you can also write it as a equals 10 so it's really good it's called the shorthand notation if you know some programming language like C, C++ you have uh, noticed it somewhere else so you can just write instead of this long you can write it as plus here so this is similar to like this t1.x equals t1.x plus 5 for this also let's remove this plus equals 5 similarly you can do for this and this and this you can optimize your code somehow like okay so thanks for watching the video keep on subscribing and uh, follow me on facebook if you are on facebook bye bye